My name is Steph Morris. I like to think of myself as a videographer, video maker, editor, something along those lines. There's no doubt that I love what I do, documenting my adventures, and the more I make, the more I like to push my limits. Where I can go, what can I do, what can I film, how do I get the better shots? However, this got me and the boys in some trouble tackling one of the UK's most dangerous scrambles. Chasing a video with no experience and little preparation saw us get stuck on the side of Snowdon and inches away from falling to our deaths. This vlog begins 16 months later for my second attempt over Creep Coch. Me and Kai are on the way up to Nantes Paris now this morning. We left at half past three. And today we're going to do something that I tried once and I failed, and that is climb Snowdon via the Creep Coch route. As well as being an old friend, Kai is also an experienced mountaineer, especially in Snowdonia. Having completed Kreebkoch three times before, he was the perfect person to help me across the ridge. He's going to hopefully guide me across safely and I'm going to show like, what I should have done the first time around, hopefully show how to do it safely and I'll cut back probably to the clips in January 2020. So if you haven't seen our video, it might be worth checking it out because it shows how bad things on the mountains can change quite quickly as well. Bad conditions, bad preparation. So today you now I'm feeling much more prepared, a bit more experienced as well. And like I said, I've got Kai who's a, an experienced mountaineer. So the route you probably did end up going, you end up going a bit too far to the right which, like you say, you ended up going over the ridge and then down the other side of the cliff because it was so foggy, you might not have known or seen where to go. And then, luckily then, Mountain Rescue were able to come fetch you safely. But uh, today we won't be doing that. The route isn't as exposed as, uh, as the way you boys tried to go uh, last year. Even though I went so wrong last time, I feel, uh, I feel really excited at the thought of uh, successfully climbing up this mountain through this route. Like, so this would be my fourth time up Snowdon now and uh, yeah it'd be something really nice to take off for me and to be able to film the whole uh, process of getting across as well. Just up in the cloud there now, that's the summit of Greenpool. So this bit all a bit fairly familiar, fairly easy and then Things start changing then as we uh, get onto that peak sort of creep walk junction bit. So looks like the mist is coming and going on there today, guys. Be cool if it was clear from the top as well. Nice for views, but from a walking perspective, especially if you're nervous of heights, <laughs> a lot of mist is the best thing you want because you can't see the bottom. Getting to the start of the uh, scrambling a bit now. Honestly, yeah. It's annoying, but I do feel really nervous. Like, I don't know why you feel so bad. It's good. Yeah. It's good. Exactly. I just know, like, how good I'm going to feel after I do it. That's all. That's what's just keeping me through and going. It. Like. This is the climb now. So we've come up up the walk, the easy part. Now it's about getting up there and going over and then you walk up the ridge up to the top then so let's put your climbing skills to use now Morning. What we would have done last time was gone that way round the ridge but this time we're taking it left. Just hugging it with less sheer case of the of the ridge. Let's take a loop round to the left across and up again, kind of like a snake. Yeah. That's exactly what we're doing here. So, unlike normal walking, you can tell straight away that there's a lot of emphasis on arms and climbing. So yeah, this is where we should have come. Instead, we approached it from the right-hand side because the conditions, we couldn't really see where we were going and we didn't know where we were going either. 
so you obviously see straight ahead you know the left is a bit more forgiving than the right hand side where it's a sheer drop because like I said it's been something I want to be doing for well, ever since we failed doing it to be fair so uh, even though it doesn't seem like a lot but I kind of feel like a good challenge for me to help get over so this is the path we were on last time Oof. I'm going to slip down here you are gone Scramble again. Huh. Huh. I was scared of one right there. Yeah, we've got to make our own way down. Fogs coming in bad and things aren't really not looking good for us. I'm just going to follow you off on the steps, Kate. It was, like, it was like this, but more windy and more wet. And we decided instead of going ahead, which is thought is impossible, we went down these cliffs here. And we can't really see it from here, but there are sheer cliffs at the bottom of this whole surface. And it's all loose shale as well, so if we'd have slipped or something, something would have gone really gone bad. And we couldn't see a way going back or across, we went down, but that was the worst thing we could have done we got stuck where we couldn't come back up or go down and all i'm saying is thank you for the Lamberis uh, mountain rescue gopro is close to my chest so i don't know if you can hear my heart beating i'm loving every single minute of this it's good isn't it it's really good that's the end of the knife edge oh, there it is Oh wow, who's <laughs> done that now? Yeah, okay. This is a lot more. Do you want to see? Yeah, fuck. Oh, thanks, guy. Happy? Feel good, yeah, feel good. So, uh, back now, down. <laughs> That's so sick. Look at the mist coming in as well. So, we're going on the right hand side, okay? Yeah? I'm going on the right hand side. Any particular reason for that? You see if I'm going that This is so fun doing this, mind, isn't it? The next part of the ridge was rocky and more of a climb, but less exposed than the knife edge. Up into the gully. Luckily, Kai was at hand to help me once again. I pulled my weight up, I did. All the way up? Yeah. Drop on the right hand side this time. Oh, the drop here. Oh, I'm so happy I've done that. Especially since uh, back in January, I thought oh, this thing never get me up here ever again. Like, flat out, didn't it? Pretty, uh, not too bad either. I found it. I suppose, I suppose lucky I got Kai again, though. So, okay. What's this going there again? This means one more downhill now and then the next bit is back up to the summit. So there's two out of the three peaks climb today. Another mistake I want to rectify is uh, <laughs> in the first vlog. For a Welsh boy as well, it's actually pretty bad. 
but I was saying crib coch rather than creeb coch. Crib coch, crib coch, crib coch, crib coch. I hopefully had done that bit justice today as well. Should have checked all the mistakes off today now, hopefully. <laughs> so uh, the creeb coch ridge line's done. Garnet the guy's done. And now it's just the summit and then back down the PE track. Alright, we've submitted via creep call. I mean, technically the summits, but uh, but I think it's worth a queue, is it? Absolutely not. It's like a sandwich and go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll count that as a summit. So I just stop and show the uh, the cliffs that we were abseiling down when we got stuck with the mountain rescue boys. So when we veered off on the left hand side of the ridge, these are the cliffs that we would have come down on. And yeah, like they said at the time, that a lot of people go into a lot of danger because they don't realise there's cliffs there and there's here drop. So uh, yeah, I just thought I'd show the severity of uh, where we were trying to climb down. And this is actually the path that we thought we would try and climb down to. So you can see it's like miles away from the ridge. I am by no means a mountain expert. Our lack of preparation in January 2020 got us into a serious amount of danger and if it wasn't for these highly skilled and amazing volunteers at Clamberis Mountain Rescue, it would have been a lot worse for us. It would be so appreciated and so valued if you could go over and donate to this fantastic organisation. These volunteers risk their lives all the time to help people and not only did they save my life, but they inspired me to come back and safely complete this challenge. Creepco is finally done after about a year and a half of uh, trying to psych myself up and do it. Thanks to Kai, obviously. So we took about three hours, eight minutes, I think, and then about two hours on the way down from the peak then. So yeah, I'm really chuffed that I've done them. Hopefully I've um, rectified all the mistakes I did in the first one. Well, the one big mistake is which is not getting stuck, obviously. But yeah, it's done now. That was ticked off. If you did enjoy watching the video, then feel free to subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video and uh, I'll see you in the next one.